So there are two different, well, I'd say three major areas of HIV research that I follow very closely. One is just to optimize the treatment that we have for people living with HIV right now, which is right now is excellent. You know, I just want to remind everybody that to 2019, someone newly diagnosed with HIV who goes on and stays on medication can expect to lead a normal lifespan, which is really extraordinary compared to the way things were when I first started in this field. Um, so that's that's refinement of currently available treatments. Mm -hmm. The next area of research is curing HIV. There have been two people who've been cured, but they've both been cured with a bone marrow transplant, and that's obviously not a practical thing to do. So mm -hmm. people are looking at other ways potentially of curing HIV. And the third, the third thing is um, HIV prevention. And HIV prevention is being led by the vaccine research effort, which has been ongoing for many years. And we're starting to see some glimmers of hope in the HIV vaccine area. Uh, but another area that we see a lot of hope and a lot of progress is pre-exposure prophylaxis, mm -hmm. where people at high risk for HIV take HIV medications and prevent themselves from getting it. So, so there's been a lot of progress in all three areas, probably the least progress in the cure area, mm -hmm. but in some ways that makes it the most uh, groundbreaking. One amazing thing is that uh, unlike the early days of HIV therapy, now we pretty much ga can guarantee that the treatments we have work for people who take them. That's really remarkable. So that that that, that nearly 100% effectiveness in clinical practice is is just extraordinary. And, and an additional fact is that people who go on successful treatment can't pass the virus on to others. This so-called undetectable equals untransmissible is a real scientific fact and has led to dramatic declines in new HIV infections in certain urban areas. So uh, those, those I think are just extraordinary advances and really make someone very hopeful that we will one day be able to, to reduce, at the very least reduce this epidemic and maybe even eliminate it.